Good morning, it's Lisa Bergen coming to you on the 28th of May uh, 2022 for a Floss Tube update. Now, in my last video, I said I was going to play my May game during May, and um, I uh, did in that I worked on each piece, but I abandoned it early on. So this video is just going to show you what I managed to do um, and my plans for June. So the first thing I worked on is not part of the May game, it's my ongoing project which is the um, early snowfall, which is the um, wolves picture. The, I haven't got the actual uh, shot of the what the finished design looks like, but it is in my previous video. So this is where I got to. I added at least 2,432 stitches, which is my current goal per month. And um, it's uh, worked on 18 count Ada using DMC floss as um, listed. And the design is from RC, it is known as early snowfall large it's the big one so that's that and that will be worked on in June right so now let's get to uh, the projects I was meant to work on so the first one I worked on was consider the lilies from heartstring samplery um, and I worked on this one for two days and I did 750 stitches so we are take the needle out and that's where I am now so coming along, uh, yep, a long way to go, but I did enjoy what I did at the time. So put the needle back in, I don't think I use it. So that's that one to so consider the lilies. And that was the one that had the most progress on it. The first one I worked on. Then I worked on the diet starts tomorrow. This is from uh, Bothy Fred. It's a Rendell design um, and it's very cute. It's on 14 count Ada uh, on their printed, funny printed Ada that they use. And I am now here. So on this one, I added 572 stitches. That was my second most successful one. And then I worked on <coughs> uh, Henry VIII. And this one is... Um, a sampler obviously uh, this one I worked on also for, so the first three I've worked on for two sessions two days um, and this one got 571 stitches so only just slightly less than uh, the previous one <clears throat> and this is where I got on there so I got a bit more of Catherine Howard done and I think I've begun working on the outer bit for Catherine Parr so yes yeah, so that's where we are on this one coming along slowly and steadily and I did enjoy working on that then we start getting the issues where I didn't do quite so much and this is the worst project for the month and this was Row of Love I worked on it for one session and I only put in 79 stitches so not much progress on that one at all this year whereas last year I made wonderful progress on that so you know hey ho and then, so we then got into week, the second week of uh, doing some stitching. And this time um, I started on sn Snooty Parrots. I only worked on this for one session and I did 312 stitches. And that is on this 40 count rosewood. And on this one, I am now here. And I mainly worked out, worked this border down and a little bit in the as you can see because there's the, the hanging thread as usual for me so sorry the creases there but yeah that's where i am on that one um and then i then i worked on uh autumn leaves which uh was my fourth most successful project this one i worked on for one night and i did 418 stitches on that i'm working on the, the main piece there this is on a piece of 32 count linen cream linen and there we go that's where I got onto that so I'm happy with how that's going uh, that was quite easy because it was letters and letters do tend to work up quite quickly I then worked on Viennese waltz for one day which is this very old whip of mine um, and this one I did 276 stitches and I worked mainly on her blue dress working down the colours in that so that's that so a bit of progress, but obviously not a lot of progress. And then 
finally I worked on a Victorian promenade which is this big um, design from Andriana and this one I added 184 stitches and I worked mainly filling in filling in bits that right at the top yeah filling in bits in this in the center around that red the red around the red building mainly is where I worked and in the tree bits and stuff but yeah so that's all come on so that was my unsuccessful May game so just because I only worked on them for a very short period of time that the winner is um was would, would have been considered the lilies that had the highest stitch count ratio um so that was uh stitches via versus time uh, so yeah so that's that so for for um june i'm going to be working on um early snowfall at least 100 stitches a day is what i'm aiming for and then the rest of the month i think at the moment i'm just going to try and see how much of this i can get done which is um uh, the paws and claws sampler from long dog samplery long dog sampler sorry um and um it just needs to be finished because i've I started it in 2012 we're well, now in 2022 and i don't really have a great deal to do i mean it's quite a bit of back stitching but actual cross stitching there isn't a lot so that this is going to be my um aim for june is to see how much of this i can get done so so 100 stitches a day on uh, early snowfall and then any other stitching time on this now I haven't been doing, I had a few non-stitchy days so far this month and you might be thinking, well, what have you been doing? I've fallen in love with jigsaw puzzles. I haven't actually completed the jigsaw puzzle and it must be 20 years, must be 20 years. Um, I have started a few in recent years, but it never quite got me. And then I had this puzzle in my cupboard that I've had for a while. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to give that a go. So I got it out, it was a little 500 piece one, completed it in the same day, really enjoyed it. So I got myself another puzzle. Um, and I completed that in a couple of, I mean, because less time actually than the first one, but over more sessions, because the first one I was like, I, I must get this, I want to get it done, I want to get it done. Um, and now I'm working on a thousand piece one. Um, and um, so that is taking up some of my time. Um, but it shouldn't alter what I'm doing, because I tend to, like, the early snowfall I do before I take the dog out for a walk, generally. And then... Um, the um, paws and claws uh, will be done in the evening when I'm watching TV. So it shouldn't really, the only night that might not be the case is Tuesday nights when I go up upstairs because my husband goes training on a Tuesday and, and that night might be my you know, night when I concentrate on the puzzle that I've got on the, on the table at the time. So anyway, so that's why, I have, another reason why I've done a little bit less stitching uh, than normal. Anyway, not much else to say really. Um, went and saw Top Gun Maverick the other day with my husband um which was um very enjoyable surprising because I'm not a Tom Cruise fan but we watched the previous night we re-watched the original Top Gun and I'm glad I did because there's quite a lot of referencing from the first film into the second film so um although I had seen it before it was a long time ago and there's only a couple of lines that I remembered from the movie from uh when I watched it before so um yeah so we, that was a nice um a nice uh, couples uh, it was really funny because there's about 20 people in this in the cinema we went we went at lunchtime and um they were all of a similar age to us so they were obviously grew, grew up in the uh, 80s i think when when top, the original top gun came out which was it was quite amusing but anyway that was um so we, we, we thoroughly enjoyed it so that that's the main thing and it makes a change for us to go to the pictures and actually see a film which is more my husband's taste than mine we tend to when we go it tends to be things that i'm or a family oriented film like you know disney film something like that so um and it's the first time we've been to the picture since the pandemic so um which is you know Things are gradually back to normal now. I think um, everywhere there's no no masking here anyway. Um, you see a couple some people in I mean some people's in stores and that you still see wearing masks, but generally you don't. Oh my voice has gone croaky. Anyway, so that's it anyway. So um, I will hopefully be back at the end of June with hopefully some better results than this month. I'm a bit I am a bit disappointed in what I've not managed to achieve. I suppose I'm, I was really excited about doing my game and for some reason it just didn't work this year. Never mind. Always next year. Okay, until next time, take care.